Hello, Alan Matthews here from Classical Guitar Shed. Let's talk time signatures. It sounds so fancy, but it's really a simple concept. And so with this video, at the end of this video, you should be able to say exactly what a time signature is and understand it so that whenever you look at a piece of music, you will understand the time signature and how the time is organized in the piece of music. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to this channel. To begin with, before we do time signatures, we have to talk about bar lines. So we start off with a musical staff. That's just the five lines we have here. And we're gonna split this into little chunks and a bar line splits this. So now we've split this one big chunk into two chunks with this bar line. So what a time signature is, a time signature tells us how many beats this little bar, this little measure, bar and measure mean the same thing, how many beats each little measure contains and what kind of beat we're talking about. For example, here we have two of the most common time signatures. We have 4-4, four, four, which is also sometimes called common. So if you just see a C written, it means 4-4. Four, four. And then we have 3-4, which is the waltz. The top number of the time signature means how many, it refers to how many of them there are. So the top number says how many, and the bottom number says how many what. So it says what. So on the bottom, we have quarter notes. So the four is quarter notes. And the top is how many quarter notes? Well, it's four quarter notes. In three, four, we still have the quarter notes on the bottom, but we have only three per beat. And that's the waltz feel. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that's the, the simple explanation of time signature. The top number is how many and the bottom number is of what. So we also have other types of numbers on the bottom besides the four. The four refers to the quarter note. The eight is going to refer to eighth notes. The two is gonna to refer to half notes. We could also even have a one which refers to whole notes, but it doesn't, you don't see that very often. Technically, you could have all kinds of things. So you could have a, a 16 on the bottom or anything, but it's always going to be a type of note. So you'll never have a five on the bottom number. You'll never have a seven because there's no such thing as a fifth note or a seventh note. We only have starting with the whole note and then splitting to a half note, two, quarter note, four, eighth note, eight, sixteenth note, like this. So it's the bottom number will always be that. And then the top number just says how many of those we count to. And that's how music is organized. So let's take a look at here. Six, eight, really popular in Irish music, jigs, things like that. Such a fun music. So it has six eighth notes. And so six on the top, eight on the bottom. Same thing here, three, two has how many of them? Three, what are we counting? Half notes because of the two. So we have three half notes. So here we have the four that we have discussed here. We've got four, four, which is the most common. We've got three, four, six, eight, and three, two. And the top number says what? No, it says how many. Top number says how many, the bottom number says what kind of note is it? And then that's what you'll count. In four, four, you'll count to four in each measure. In three, four, you'll count to three in each measure. In six, eight, you'll count to six. All right, easy peasy, right? Hope you've enjoyed this foray into time signatures. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to this channel. Best of luck in all your music reading. If you'd like more help with that, then go over to classicalguitarshed.com. There's tons of tutorials or subscribe to this channel. All right, see you soon, all the best.